Oh, did you see this thing? Oh, that's nice. Did you just get that printed somewhere? Printed with a laser. Wait. What? You engraved that? This is Muse. Muse fiber laser. Okay. Not you engraved printed. that with a Muse fiber? A full spectrum laser Muse fiber? Yeah. And we're going to show you and talk about it right now. Full spectrum TV starts right now. Hey everybody, it's Tim and Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to FSTV. Uh, thanks a lot, Tim, for telling me we were already live. Uh, you didn't. You didn't did. tell me. No, I didn't until... I, well, I was gonna, and then you were messing with your mic, and I was like, well, let's get that squared away first. Wow. Thanks a lot, man. Why do you look so red today? Did you get a sunburn? I did not get a sunburn. I was messing with uh, filter settings. On well, you look jolly. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're a couple months <laughs> early, but <laughs> like it's a fine. young Chris Kringle. Yes. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, so today we're talking about all the Muse family because the Muse family has grown. Indeed. We're talking Muse Core, and then we're talking Muse Vision, mm -hmm. and then Muse Fiber. Muse Fiber. Which is pretty cool. There's nothing else like it on the market. <laughs> We've never done anything like it. I've never seen anything or heard anything like it, so we're going to be talking about that later. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Well, Tim. Sit there. Yeah, so. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's talk Muse Core. Let's get into Muse Core. All right. You got a bottom third for that, right? I do. Muse Core, right here. So the Muse Core is like your Lamborghini with manual windows, right? Right. Still an amazing machine. It's just, you know. It's, it's lacking some of those quality of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really just the camera. No matter what, it still gets you from A to B. Absolutely. Um, it just doesn't have that camera. And if you need that camera, then you'd go to the traditional Muse, the Muse 2D. Um, but we're talking core right now. How much is the core? The core, here, I will throw up our core ad. Okay. Starting at $34.99. $34.99. That is your base model. Uh, still Lamborghini, but with manual windows. Right. Point A to point B. That's right. Like, literally. But, I mean, anyone who's familiar with the Muse Core, I mean, or with the Muse in general, it's are going to, it's the exact same machine. Exact same machine without the camera. Exactly. Yeah, and it's really just a, an attempt to kind of lower the price point, get, you know, a bit more of an affordable uh, yeah. jumping off point for So it still has a beautiful touchscreen. Right. Still has the beautiful software. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to use. So if you don't know how to design, uh, it has built-in design software. Yep. And so uh, also it's, um, I forgot what I was going to say. That's cool. <laughs> All right. That's a very valid point. Um, so in between that, we have obviously our basic, uh, the Muse 2D, right. which we've had for a while. Everybody knows about that guy. We're only calling it the 2D now because there's now a 3D. So now we have the Muse it Vision It used to 3D. just be the Muse. We're just yeah. referring it to the Muse 2D now. We, we have to branch out with the words because, you right. know, so many things going on. So now we have the Muse 3D. Exactly. Muse Vision 3D. <clears throat> so, oh, lower. I, I didn't even notice that it changed. Yeah, just, you know, just the words. So one right. thing to note is that they all look the same. I mean, they're all the same yes. case. It's, it's very hard for us in marketing to... Um, take a cool photo of one that looks different from the other because, you know, they're, all the same. they're boxes. Mm -hmm. But it's what happens on the inside that counts That's there. Right. So with the Vision, you have a 3D camera made by Intel. It's the RealSense 3D. It takes a 3D depth map of the actual work area. <clears throat> and then it uses the autofocus in kind of redundancy with the 3D camera to map out what's inside. Very cool. So why is that better? It's more accurate <coughs> and it's going to autofocus to every material in there. So you can actually place materials of different heights, say some three mil wood and something like this razor blade that's random and that's what, about 12 millimeters? <coughs> place two different objects on there and then actually engrave 
on both of these in one hit of the go button per se within one job one job it's pretty cool it'll go down touch it yeah we did we show the video yet of the yeah we showed it last week but we can run it let's again let's yeah, run it while, again while we talk about it we can <coughs> run that video again Our yeah nice why not b-roll video I'm kind of talking about it using my finger but you know yeah might as well just show the real thing man beautiful transition tim into I, your you lamp know, that you made i appreciate that that lamp was fun today. i'm sure made with the muse vision Indeed. 3d so same outside but it's got the intel camera on it which you can see right there see in the upper right hand right 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 there yeah. And on the laser head, it's got the autofocus <coughs> plunger, which so is, if anyone's familiar with our Pro machines, it's very similar. It's it similar, but it's built into the laser head, which right. is really cool. It's just, it's just a nice, clean upgrade. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Man, was that my hand or your hand? I think that was my hand. I think oh. the rest of the hands are your hands. Okay. I was like, ugh. That no, is your that's hand. that's my gross hand. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, the autofocus is built into the head, and it's got the smallest, cutest little motor on it. I just like watching it do its thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comments? We do. Uh, Renee says she's very interested in the Muse fiber in uh, quote this Muse fiber thing. Ooh, so. this Muse fiber thing we're about to talk about. Um. And then Lena Dyer is asking if we are going to have a trade-in program introduced today. That would be lovely. That would be uh, but, uh, you know, you could trade in your old Muse to somebody online, that <laughs> and uh, they can buy it, and then you can buy a new. Yeah, Muse. unfortunately, we don't have a upgrade or trade-in program currently. No, <coughs> I mean we could think about it. You know, we'll throw it around. Yeah. Done. <coughs> Man, NyQuil is making me feel... Um, Renee is essentially asking the same thing. Um, no, there won't be an upgrade kit. It's a relatively complex upgrade yeah. from what Even I understand. Even though it looks exactly the same, uh, it functions completely differently, and upgrading is not extremely easy. So, unfortunately, that's not an easy upgrade to do, nor are we offering it at the time. So... We were going to dive into the software this segment, but like every episode, Tim messed something up. Tim so, dropped the ball. <laughs> so <laughs> Basically, um, when we switched to our streaming software, we never figured out how to stream a laptop yeah. to our streaming So imagine, software. imagine Tim has one ball. He just has one. He dropped it. I dropped it. Just, yeah. So um, our next video, we will absolutely... Yes. Uh, I mean, we would say software. next week, but... Next week, we will be in Albany, New York with Jimmy DeResta. Indeed we so will. I, can't, I can't say I'm sad to miss next week. Right. Because we're going to have a lot of fun. But you know what? We'll probably have some live videos throughout the trip. <clears throat> Actually, that's a good idea. I think so. We, we should film our trip. Like me sleeping on the, the little elevator, escalator thing that goes. Yeah. And, yeah we'll get, I we'll, like it. Well, it'll be the whole Jimmy DeResta um, trip. Like... Including starting the build of the laser bandsaw. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Which is the coolest thing ever. But <coughs> <laughs> I digress. Muse Vision. It's a new product and it is at, let's just make sure I don't mess up these numbers, $6,499. The Muse Vision. Again, we can't go in the software because Tim is the worst. But let's go and talk about Muse Fiber. So this is what we've been teasing all week. This is an extremely cool machine. It is extremely cool. At first I was like, hmm, fibers? They're usually just for engraving, mm -hmm. and they have really high detail, but it's only about four by four inches. And right. you could change the lens and kind of spread it, but um, traditionally only four inches. <clears throat> What's different about the Muse Fiber is it's got the same fiber source, and, uh, so same kind of laser. Same kind of laser, but it's on the Muse gantry system, which is completely unique to anything else. So you can get super high quality images like this. Um, we don't own the rights to this, by the way. Uh -oh. But but uh, this is a very beautiful photo, and it came out 
amazing. Let's the amount see. of detail is insane. Is it going to focus on that, Tim? No, I leave autofocus off uh, here. Oh. Tim's going to get up so we can... Here, a little closer. A little closer. There we go. Yeah? Okay. Like, and that's still not picking up the amazing detail that's on there. You can see every imperfection on this girl's face, which is very little, <coughs> considering um, most people have way worse faces. And I'm sure she has mud on her face. So, <coughs> anyways, it's amazing. Fibers, you can do, it's mostly for engraving. You can do, <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying. Um, <coughs> can do some cutting on some thin metals, mostly engraving metals. You can do acrylics. I actually did this smeared acrylic, which I thought was really interesting. Let's see if it'll pick up. Oh, it's kind of hard. Oh, it is hard. Oh, you're let's you're on my shirt. the light, and oh, it it's is. clear. Yeah, yeah. But it's a slingshot. Uh, yeah, it's a slingshot. Anyways, it's super interesting um, because it doesn't actually, you can't feel any of the engraved surfaces. It just removes the silvering from the mirror itself. Yeah, which is really weird. He handed it to me yesterday in my office, and it's super weird seeing that image but not being able to feel Yeah, like the material being taken away. I totally was like, okay, whatever. It looks pretty good, but uh, I, I didn't even notice that. You can't feel anything. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty special. So you can do lots of acrylics. Um, it's in, in What's weird and interesting about the fiber is it, it's all about how colors interact with the fiber. So... You can cut paper, black paper, dark paper, but you know lighter paper doesn't really do so well. So it, it's very interesting machine, and I'm still playing with it. We're still, I'm still learning about it. There's tons of applications. So if you want to look up, you know, fiber applications on Google, they'll all apply to the Muse fiber as well. It's just so brand new, you know. I we haven't even got all the applications down yet. I know some people do jeans, actually. I saw somebody took a Galvo fiber and they do the washing of the jeans. You know how all the new jeans have those? Sure. Things? Yeah. They, they take a fiber laser and do that now. Oh, wow. So it's, you know, it's even more fake than before, you know? Um, Ian French asked. Ian French, what's up? I don't uh, think I've heard him. He Did asked what material the photo was on and then uh, Don answered, which is black acrylic, which is correct. Don who? Don Roche. Roche. Thank you, sir. Um, so, yeah, this is on black acrylic. Mm -hmm. You can also do tiles. Uh, I did some light shale the other day. We're still playing with it. And everything that we put out on the fiber, we will make a post about. That sound good, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sweating. I'm, I need some more NyQuil. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <coughs> Hopefully so how long did that take? Did that, did that so this take? engraving, which is 16 inches by 10 inches, actually took under four hours. So traditional gantry uh, Galvo fibers are extremely fast, but again, limited to probably, you know, that area, you know, very small. So it is as fast as a normal Muse, but the fiber source, the laser is fiber source. So and the dot size is extremely way way smaller way smaller so the precision and resolution is going to be out of this world mm -hmm. so we will make more posts about the types of things you can do with fiber which are very interesting you can also get colors and all kinds of stuff on steel um, engraving steel aluminum bare stuff like that is going to be you know what you mostly do with this right. thing because I mean the muse the other muses can engrave metal not a whole lot, though. I mean, most of what you're going to do is probably like the anodized, like metal with coatings. Yeah, it's, it's removing the coating. Right. But even if you're doing a tumbler, let's say you're doing a tumbler and <coughs> you want some high resolution image like this on there, mm -hmm. with the fiber, that's possible because it will have rotary and riser attachment. I was you just going to ask if all of our muses are compatible with our riser and. Yeah, they will have a separate riser and rotary, but, you know, same, same. And the floor will still be a detachable. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have tile in your house and you want to engrave, you know, like a cornerstone with the family's name in it. You just remove that floor, 
put the fiber on there. <laughs> Done. I'm sorry. What was the sound effect? <laughs> Just want people to know what they can expect. Huzzah! Huzzah! Have you heard that on YouTube? Nope. So. Yeet! You know that one? No. Okay. All right. So my brain is boiling. <coughs> it is pretty hot in here today. Um, so sorry we couldn't go into the software. Maybe at the uh, end of next week we can do a little bit something. Yeah, absolutely. Else. And I was thinking since since we're going to be out of town next week, uh, we're going to have a little bit longer between uh, videos or uh, live streams. Uh, we could probably come up with like a video. Yeah. That we can play um, for FSL TV in two weeks. Yes. Oh yeah, it'll be a good one in yeah. two weeks. We'll have for a lot. Sure to uh, show off we'll have Jimmy DeResta's stuff and then all kinds of fiber stuff. So mm -hmm. thanks for letting us rant and talk about how uh, Tim messed up everything. <coughs> <coughs> did, did we talk about that? <coughs> we did at length. Okay. Um, also, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about the differences between all of the meals, <coughs> Um, if Walker would stop coughing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'm here in two weeks. Right? My goodness. Hopefully, yeah, he doesn't pass out. Um, <sighs> so if you go to our website and uh, check out our laser section, you can click on any of the Muse uh, in the drop down. And down below, there is a big kind of like checklist that kind of show you all of the features, which oh, ones yeah. have You going to post that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, I can post it in the, I'll, I will post a link to it and an image in the comments for okay. this video. I just remembered because my, uh, you know, my brain's been boiling. Sure. But uh, fiber, if anybody's still watching, I mean, ugh. <coughs> fiber, extremely reliable. Doesn't have a glass tube, so essentially has no consumable parts. Will last a very, very, very long time. The 3D camera is actually very useful mm -hmm. because most of the time you're going to be fibering pre-existing objects like the back of a watch or, you know, knives. Let's say there's a wedding and you want groomsmen, you know, you do the whole groomsmen thing. You can uh, put all their names all at once on some knives yeah. or something of that sort. And the focus depth on the fiber is extremely shallow, so that extra precision from that 3D camera will be very useful. For sure. Well said, Tim. I got them every now and again. You're the best. Besides <laughs> messing up, you're the best. Besides completely messing uh, up this episode. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, next time. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions, put it down in the comments. Oh, price point of the fiber. Ooh, we just glazed over that. Yeah, uh, Lena just, just reminded us. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you're still watching us babble on. So, the price point of the fiber starts out at 11999 Go ahead and talk to the salesman. So if you're interested, talk to the salesman. See what they can do for you at sales at fslaser.com or feel free to give us a call. Um, it's always good to talk to a salesman. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, hang on. I know it's on the core ad. The number is right there on the right. It's 702-802-3101. Go. That's a direct line to our sales department. Thank you, Tim. I always forget the number. No worries but I still remember the first number I ever had at my old house, landline, you know? Isn't that weird? I, I don't. I remember when I lived in Pittsburgh, when I went to high school. That's the only one I remember. Okay. That, that's not that long. That's not impressive at all. Nope. Nope. All righty. <sighs> so if you have any uh, other question, guys, please put it down in the comments. We're always responding. Uh, mm -hmm. Tim responds all the time. I try to get on there. And respond, even if it's some guy who hates on the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> that, that episode. Um, sorry, I wore a shirt you didn't like, guy. So uh, he didn't like climbing. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't like climbing. So I think until next time. Keep making. Hey there guys, thanks for watching. If you click here, you can subscribe to our channel, or if you click over this way, you can check out some other videos that we do. <laughs>